Hi everyone. For anyone who missed our bubbles lab or uh, just needed a quick refresher on how to accomplish it, I made this short video. Uh, remember, you are writing up your own procedure. Uh, you are collecting your own data on this. So I'm just going to show you the lab setup and then you're kind of on your own. All right. So for to be successful, um, you definitely need soap of some sort liquid soap is the best uh, i like to use dish detergent soap hand soap also works pretty good shampoo works uh, pretty well is pretty good too uh, i realize many of you don't have beakers at home that's okay you just need a cup of some sort uh, something to mix your soap and water solutions with you need a straw or even a rolled up piece of paper works to blow your bubbles. You need some kind of measuring device, a nice flat surface, and then we're gonna uh, put additives in our bubble solution. Uh, the document recommends trying out using salt and sugar. Um, but you could try other things too. You know, you can make some ketchup bubbles and see how those work. If you're doing uh, bubbles that have colors in them, you know, please be aware that they probably will stain your clothes um, and stuff like that. So take the precautions necessary. Anyways, here is your basic lab setup. So uh, I'm just gonna get some water here. So at home, you know, definitely use measuring cups. Um, remember you need to follow a controlled experiment. So measure your water amount, measure how much soap you are putting in there. Probably have measuring cups at home. You probably have tablespoons at home. You know, measure stuff and record that. That should all be part of your procedure. Um, so I have my soapy water solution. This is my control, all right? Now, if I was doing this and putting different additives into it, because this is my control, I would go ahead and divvy this up, uh, split this up amongst uh, a couple more cups. All right, you really don't need a lot of bubble solution to make a lot of bubbles. Um, so I would split this up. So then this solution remains the same for all of my bubbles. That is what makes it a control. All right, so I'm not gonna do these ones. That's up to you. How much salt, how much sugar, uh, how much hot sauce do you wanna put in your bubbles? That's up to you. I did just wanna show you the lab setup. So on your nice flat surface, just pour a little bit of your soap solution out. It's just soapy water, so can't hurt anybody. Don't pour it in your eyes, don't drink it. So your, so your tabletop is wet. How to blow your bubbles then, I just dip my straw into my bubble solution and just blow on the table. Pretty big bubble. Pretty big bubble. Pretty huge bubble. That's a pretty huge bubble. All right. You could even blow a bubble in a bubble if you get good at this. Ah, oh, it popped. The key is blowing slowly. So as you blow your bubbles, um, you can measure it. They, sh they should be pretty durable. Um, but if they do pop, you know, that's okay. It's going to leave. So I'm going to pop this one. Maybe I'll blow a bubble in a bubble.
man, these are big today. All right, so you see how it popped? It left, it leaves a ring of residue and you can measure that ring. So that was about a nine inch and one, you know, nine and one quarter inch bubble. Blow slowly and you will be successful. Again, this is your control. You are then making two additional solutions by splitting up this control bubble solution and adding a measured amount of chemical to it. Have fun, make sure you clean stuff off. Please don't do this on your floor and have someone slip on it. Uh, all right, thanks guys.